show good afternoon. Today I want to explain you why a sperm cell in moss is the biggest loser. Mosses, these tiny little plants that can be found in many forests here in Sweden, do not present flowers for reproduction, so they don't have pollen. Instead, they have more um, ancient way of reproduction based on motile sperm cells. These sperm cells have two flagella that allows them to swim to reach the egg cell and produce fertilization. If we make a closer look to the sperm cell in moss, it has a quite strange shape compared to a um, standard cell that we can find if we Google cell, um, something like this, a round shape with a round nuclei. It's quite a different shape. Actually, this is more similar to an immature sperm cell. So there is a process that brings this cell produces a lot of material and reach this skinny and athletic shape that make it, make it uh, good for swimming. And now I guess you are wondering which is the uh, medical, medical diet that brings a round shape uh, cell to this more um, good one for swimming. And this is a process called autophagy. Autophagy means self-eating, which so basically uh, the cell degrades itself all these components to give rise to this uh, filamentum shape with almost no cytoplasm that can help can, that could um, uh, be could make the cell unable to swim properly. And how we know that? We know that because if we uh, block, genetically block autophagy in the cell, what we have instead of this nice shape is this other one. So the cell is sad because it's uh, fat, cannot swim, and cannot fertilize the egg. So basically, thanks for your attention. If you want to know more about autophagy, just wait for me. Thank you, Victoria. Is it very ready to summarize? Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. I think we are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you for this presentation. Uh, very good, clear, good, beautiful pictures. I like the, the colors and so on, uh, like a painting sometimes. Uh, and and the, the message was also very clear. And, and although it's uh, you had some some you use some terminology that is not common for every every people, but but you illustrated in it, it in a good way. So then it's not a problem, I think. So I I, I, I like this pre presentation. Uh, being uh, once again the enormous here, uh, I. I sort of got a little bit disappointed. Perhaps you're uh, going to tell me in the next five minutes. <laughs> because, all right, we didn't really get into to understand what it's all about. I'm sorry, it's a little bit short there. But you were confident in your presentation, so I'm quite sure you will, if we move on to the next stage, that you will explain it to me. Right. Uh, I would like to say, uh, again, I think I, I agree with these two, and uh, I, I think if you're going to do three minutes uh, of uh, presentation, maybe explain that I'm, I'm not going to be able to, to express all the things I want to, but here's uh, like uh, my favorite or something that also says, then I would be even, uh, even harder to see if I, I want to use the other five or whatever it is that will be in the right in the presentation. But just like, like sum it up before you start. So you get like a, a, like a hook. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. uh, but otherwise I, I said uh, uh, it was uh, very informative and uh, educational. And I like that word uh, that you 
he talks to, uh, uh, to me as an average Christian person, and I could relate and, and, uh, and uh, want him to understand. And, I, and, uh, and that felt very good. So, uh, and uh, good to meet a little bit of humor in the in the end, in that with the sad uh, bacteria in the liver. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, you, you may you may choose humor, and I I think that is very good to have it. Thank you. Okay, and now for the last vote in the first round. Uh, has everybody got post-its that need post-its? Everybody's able to vote? Great. And now, you got your phones ready? Just do that. Yes, perfect. Okay, so please go ahead and vote. You can have something. Five, six, seven. 